So if you've been with this channel long enough, first of all, thanks. Um, but yeah, if you've been here long enough, you should be well aware by now of the three different types of mash grip available, right? There's German, there's French, and there's the American. Hopefully you're spending a lot of time developing all three of those because they're all great for different reasons. But there are two other sort of unconventional types of grips that I'm going to show you today. Like they're not widely taught, um, but they're actually really cool and they have their uses. So just some more stuff that you can add to your toolbox. So I'm going to show them to you right now. So if you don't already have your sticks in front of you, grab a pair and check these out. So yeah, I have a lot of videos on my channel um, talking about the match grip. You've heard me say plenty of times, if you've seen these videos, I talk a lot about the fulcrum and switching the fulcrum from the index finger, which is where, I don't want to say most drummers, I'll say the majority of drummers, especially when they're first starting out, the fulcrum or their balance point, whatever, uh, happens with the index finger. I talk a lot about switching it to the middle finger. So you get this happening instead of this happening, right? The first grip that I'm going to show you, that's actually really cool. Um, try this out. Grab a stick right now and try this grip out. Just hold a stick normally like this, all right? And what I want you to do for the time being is just forget about any kind of fulcrum. And what I want you to do is grab the butt end of the stick with these last two fingers. So just take it just like that. So you should be able to just kind of, with these back two fingers, just kind of wave them just like that. This grip here, The thing about holding the sticks like this is that it actually utilizes the back of the hand instead of the middle or the front of the hand, and it kind of eliminates the idea of having a fulcrum um, altogether. Now this is something that has been taught by Tony Williams. This is um, the first time I saw it anyway, was uh, with Tony Williams, he was doing a clinic, there's a video that you can check out of him doing that. Um, but yeah, he made some really good points. And, you know, Tony Williams was like, Tony Williams was a monster. He was a monster on the kit. Like he was total jazz metal guy. He had the one of the strongest, most powerful and precise grips whenever he, you know, moved around the drums and stuff. And his idea behind doing it this way was that you know, he didn't rely on any kind of bounce or, or rebound or anything like that. He had to get everything out of his hands without worrying about, you know, any kind of bounces or rebounds or anything like that. So when he was doing rolls around the kit, like even when he was doing doubles and stuff like that, it's kind of weird that you don't feel the fulcrum when you're way back here with it, but it's possible and you can actually get them really strong. So yeah, that's one thing that you, can, um, that you can try out. Just grab the butt end of the stick, wrap these last two fingers around it, and this is where the majority of your grip is gonna come from, and then just relax the rest of your hand around the stick. You'll find that um, the most comfortable position for your index finger is just hanging out. Just like that. It's just kind of, you know, there checking out the party from the outside. So the funny thing is, this feels really good. And this is something that I've been doing um, for quite a while now, particularly with 
the right hand when I'm playing the right. Like it just feels really good. So yeah, Tony, I don't think Tony ever claimed to, uh, to invent this grip. Um, I think he actually said he got it from watching a lot of other drummers that came up before him, like a lot of jazz drummers. But yeah, it's just, it's a really powerful and quite comfortable version of this grip. And it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're playing on the snare or going around the toms, playing the ride, smacking the cymbals. Um, you can sort of you're still able to rotate your wrist however you want to do it. And however you do it, it's comfortable. But you might find that, um, you know, when you're playing your snare or your hi-hats or whatever, the most it's gonna rotate is probably up to American grip. I don't know if you're gonna end up going full palms down. Um, there's gonna be just slight bit of rotation there. But yeah, once you settle into it, man, this is really comfortable. And you can still get, you know, decent amount of rebound. It's not going to feel the same because there's no, you know, traditionally there's no, there's no uh, fulcrum or balance point that you're worried about because it's all being worked from the butt end of the stick. But you can still get it happening. Like if you work it, you can still get it happening. So yeah, Tony Williams grip, that's what I'm going to call it. Check that one out. Now this other one I'm gonna show you is kinda weird, admittedly. Like it looks weird and it feels a little weird, but it has its uses and it's pretty cool. So this is one that, um, that I see Chris Dave using a lot. He's actually where I got it from. And it's kinda weird, check this out. Grab a stick and um, start, with the, start with the Tony Williams grip. Right? So do that same idea where you're grabbing it from back here, okay? And then what I want you to do is just turn your palm over, extend your index finger all the way out, and sit it right over top like that. So this is what it's, you can see that? This is what it looks like. Now get a firm grip on the stick. And that's what it is. It looks totally weird. But you can get a lot of control. Especially when you're doing singles. This is not a rebound grip. You're not going to get any rebound at all with this grip. All right. Um, this is really just about the hand position, having the index finger sitting over top. And this is something that I've seen Chris Dave do a whole lot, like when he's playing really fast singles, like on the hi-hats or the snare or, um, you know, accents on the floor tom or whatever. Like, it looks mad cool when he does it. It's going to feel weird when you try it, but you're going to notice that it actually, at the same time, feels pretty good. So if you just want to start playing singles, with it like that. Everything's happening from right here, like right from the wrist. And you're almost kind of applying a little bit of pressure with the index finger. And uh, you're sort of pushing down. So they're kind of working together. So there's the wrist movement up and down. And then you're also, you know, the index finger is also helping out a little bit. So when the two of them work together, it's kind of cool.
just for the record, trying to sell this grip to you as a main grip. You're not gonna be, you know, playing the kit conventionally like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is more of a stylistic tool. Think of it that way. This is just like a, it's like a tool in your toolbox that you're gonna pull out when you wanna do something a little specific. So it's a great grip for a lot of you hip hop drummers out there. You know, you got multiple snares in front of you, you know, fairly compact kit. And, um, and you do a lot of that type of stuff inside your grooves. It feels really cool to do. So yeah, there you go. A couple of fun new grips that you can mess around with. As always, I encourage y'all to learn every single grip available and master all of them. Seriously, you're a tradesperson, right? You can't just be walking around with just a hammer in your toolbox. Just learn all the available grips out there. Um, you know, you're going to be using your muscles in all kinds of different ways. You're just going to end up being a more versatile drummer when you do that. So yeah, learn them all, man. Don't be a grip snob. They're all cool. They all work. They all have their purposes. Open your mind a little bit, expand your horizons, and try everything out. But as for me, that's it. That's all I got. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Right there, subscribe button. Make sure you mash that right there before you bounce. Share this video if you dig it. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next video.